Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Harry Potter DIY potions. So they're all really simple, made from pretty standard craft supplies that most of you will have, if not they're really cheap to get. And yeah, they're really fun, look really cool and look really cool on my Harry Potter shelf. So let's get going. So the first thing I would suggest doing is laying down some newspaper or kitchen towel just so you have a clean surface to work on. Then I got some clear glue, it doesn't matter which one too much but the thinner it is the easier it is going to be to work with. And I also got these small little glass jars from Amazon, they were like £5 for 20 I got quite a few cocktail sticks so that I could stir the potions and make them. I also got a few basic colours, food colouring will work just to colour your potions. I got some different coloured glitter. And I got these little green leaves from my garden but moss would work as well. And some little gems but these are optional. Because my supply of food colouring was limited but I had a large supply of nail varnishes I decided to use them to colour and I got this little funnel to pour my glitter into the bottles. So the first potion I'm making is Felix Felicis which is also known as Liquid Luck. My camera cut out at the beginning of this but all I've done is I've mixed some yellow food colouring with this gold nail varnish you can see underneath and then I've literally just added in some clear glue and mixed up with my cocktail stick. See, I've added some more gold nail varnish now. It can be a little bit tricky getting the liquids inside the bottle because the hole is so small, but just keep going and pushing it in with your cocktail stick and it will work eventually. It's quite useful to change or clean your cocktail stick between uses, otherwise the glue starts to harden on it and becomes quite hard to use. Once you're finished stirring, just clean off the top of the kitchen towel and then put the cork in and you're done. The next potion I'm going to make is the Polyjuice Potion. Now this one is open to interpretation because the colour will change depending on the person you are turning into, but I've chose to go for a green. This is probably the easiest one. I've literally just put a few drops of green food colouring in and then I'm just topping it up with clear glue and mixing it up. Try and make sure there's a little bit of glue on the top inside of the bottle before you put the cork in because it will hold the lid in place. And here's the Polyjuice Potion. The next one I'm going to make is Amortentia, or the Love Potion. I looked up the appearance of all these potions on Harry Potter Wikipedia, and this one is described as having a mother of pearl sheen. So I just found a nail varnish that was kind of a light pink, sort of shiny colour that I thought represented that. After putting my nail varnish in the bottle, I literally just topped it up with glue and then mixed it up. I also added a few little pink gems because I thought it would add a nice effect, but this is completely optional. And then obviously I mix that in again. Here is a love potion and I think it looks really cute. Now this is the Draft of Peace, which I don't think is one of the best known Harry Potter potions, but it's probably my favourite. It's my favourite colour and I really like the symbolism of like curing anxiety and everything. Now this one is a turquoise appearance, so I've just added some blue glitter and then I'm putting some blue and green food colour in and then topping it up with glue and mixing it up. Here is the draft of peace and I think it looks really cool. Now this next one is unicorn blood which is more of an ingredient than a potion but I thought it would fit in and it is described as being silver. This one is really simple to make, I've literally just used silver glitter and clear glue and mixed it all together. I also used a little bit of this white glitter but that's not necessary. These bottles that I'm using do come in all different shapes and sizes so if you want to make them different, bigger, smaller or round you can. So here it is Unicorn Blood, really simple silver liquid. 
Now this next one is Jilly Weed. Now I have used green and yellow food colouring for this because my green was coming out a little bit blue on its own. I just put in my food colouring, filled it up with some clear glue and mixed it up. I didn't mix this one completely because I wanted the liquid to still be a little bit clear so you could see the leaves that put through it. I used some evergreen leaves as my chili weed but moss would work really well as well. And there is my finished chili weed. Another one that is more of an ingredient than a potion but it is dragon blood. All I did was put a few drops of red food colouring into my bottle and then filled it up with clear glue. I did put quite a bit of red food colouring to make sure it was quite a clear colour. And there it is, another really really simple one with only two ingredients. Now this next one doesn't really fit in but I thought it was cool so I made it anyway. So here is flu powder. This is a combination of about two thirds table salt and one third silver glitter. Just make sure that you really shake it together well and make sure all the salt and glitter mix together. I added a few little silver gems but that's an optional step. And here it is, flu powder, another really simple one to make. Now I wanted to make my own labels for my bottle so I just got a piece of A4 paper, a tea bag and some water. I put my tea bag in the water and just put it all over my paper until I was happy with the design. Then I let it dry completely and cut it into pieces of the paper the size I needed for my labels. I hand wrote on mine but you could just put the paper through the printer and print them out, it's entirely up to you. But I literally just used some glue and stuck them to my bottles. Here it is, my finished potion collection and I'm really, really happy with how it all turned out. I've got ideas for so many more Harry Potter potions, so if you'd like a second one of these videos, leave some comments and if I get enough, I'll make another one. So if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. I've got a video for a stand for these potions coming really soon, so keep your eyes open for that and I will see you later.